Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. We are taking forward our preparation series with another lecture in algorithm subject. Both these questions that we'll solve today in this lecture, they were a part of GATE 2015 paper and one of them focuses on time complexity of a particular algorithm that is quicksort and the second one focuses on upper bound or lower bound of a particular expression or equality so starting with the first question the first question says that consider the equality summation i cube i going from 0 to n equal to x and the following choices for x and you are, the, you are given the four choices as theta of n raised to power 4, theta of n raised to power 5, big O of n raised to power 5 and omega of n, n cube or n raised to power 3. The equality above remains correct if x is replaced by. Alright, so first you need to know that what is exactly the summation of the cubes of n natural numbers or first n natural numbers this is what is specified to you okay so you must remember that the sum of first n the sum of the cubes of first n natural numbers is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square all right so this would come out to be theta of n raised to power 4 because this is n square this would be n square n square multiplied by n square would give you a bound of theta of n raised to power 4 all right so if this is equal to some value x then what can be the values that can be present in place of x first of all first option would definitely be present because this is the exact bound or the tightest bound that we can have on this inequality or this expression whose uh, whose bound is theta of n raised to power 4 so first option is definitely it can be a, a choice for replacing x okay now coming to the second option second option says theta of n raised to power 5 now this option is not correct why because theta bound means that it is a tight bound however we are specifying here that this expression evaluates to a tight bound of n raised to power 4 therefore we can say that n raised to power 5 upper bounds this expression or this uh, value but it we cannot say that it is a tight bound or it is a theta bound okay because theta bound means that the uh, the value this expression would lie between a lower bound of n raised to power 5 and below the lower bound of n raised to power 5 okay it would lie between the two so if we are saying theta it refers to something like this see if this is our expression of i cube then n raised to power 5 theta of n raised to power 5 would be bounding this expression from below as well as from above something like this this is not this may not be a very clear cut or correct representation but i am representing it so that you get an idea that theta of n raised to power 5 is not the correct replacement for x now can we replace x with the third option big o of n raised to power 5 yes we can definitely replace it because n raised to power 4 forms or it will be upper bounded by n raised to power 5 and thus big o is an upper bound on n raised to power 4 or this particular expression so this is correct this is correct this is not correct now let's come to the fourth option omega of n raised to power 3 now what does omega mean omega means a lower bound so can we say that n raised to power 4 is lower bounded by n raised to power 3 definitely okay so this option is also correct and correspondingly which out of a b c d would be correct only one only two these cannot be correct one or three or four but not two okay so the c option is correct so in this type of questions you need to very 
uh, well know what is exactly meant by an upper bound or a big O bound or a theta bound or an omega bound. Okay, so you not only have to calculate such bounds in different questions. Some questions ask you actually what is the basics or uh, the criteria of various bounds, just like in this question. Okay, so you need to know the concept very clearly. Then only you will be able to solve these questions. Coming to the second question, the question asks. Which one of the following is the recurrence equation for the worst case time complexity of quicksort algorithm for sorting n numbers where n is greater than or equal to 2 in the recurrence equation given below c is a constant. So worst case of quicksort occurs when the current problem is reduced by one uh, or a single element or we can say that the worst case occurs when the recursive call that is made has the sub problem of size that is one less than the size of the current problem all right so if the current problem is of size say n has size n and we have to make a recursive call of size n minus one such is the problem given to us then we say that that in every case if we have to make calls which are of size one less than the previous problem size then the worst case occurs and for quick sort worst case occurs when the array initial array or problem that is given to us is either is sorted in either ascending or descending order because every time if you choose the corner element you will always be getting the either the highest element or the lowest element so Quicksort has a worst case which would have a recurrence of the form Tn equal to T of n minus 1 because we are reducing the initial problem into two parts a problem of size n minus 1 and a problem of size 1 plus a constant amount of time that is required constant into n amount of time I would say that is required to solve the entire problem or these problems okay so uh, this is the time to solve the problem of size n minus 1 this is the time to solve the problem of a single element and this is the combining time or the remaining time that would be required to combine the solutions and then result and then provide the result for the entire problem all right so this is the correct answer for this question and this answer is present in option b all right so that is how you will solve both these questions i have provided the answers to you if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section below thank you for watching this video Please share this video and like it if you understood this question. Subscribe to our channel for e of easy engineering classes for more such tutorials and press the bell icon to get the notifications of newly uploaded videos so that you don't miss any lecture. Thanks again for watching. Good luck for your exam.